everybody. I'm going to take you through the new E30, the UIQ. Um, just want to give you a, a live tutorial of what to expect from this. So this is the landing page. Um, so on the landing page, obviously we have the wallpaper. The wallpaper, it comes with, I think, six different uh, wallpapers that are loaded in there. Um, those can be rotated through in a slideshow or, um, or fixed. Um, you can also, and I'll show you, you can also upload your own wallpaper um, directly uh, into the system if you want to. So just kind of uh, some of the features that we've got. So up, up in the upper left-hand corner, we're gonna have the Avacore logo. Um, question, can the Avacore logo be turned off if the customer wants it? Yes, it's in the menu, I'll show you. Good question. Um, then we've got uh, the date here, and the date is also configurable um, the style of how you want it. Um, time, which can be in normal time or um, as we call it military time or as you call it normal time in Europe. Um, in the lower left hand corner down over here we've got uh, an icon that will show you whether you are connected to wired um, internet or to wireless. Here we've got the tiles and this is the tiles for the inputs. Um, these are configurable in that they can be named. Um, and then um, down here, which we'll get more into, is the gear icon, which will get into the menu, um, as well as the name of the conference room or location that the product is in, which is also configurable. Um, so let me first go ahead and launch this. Um, so first thing you'll notice is on the settings page, um, you'll see that there's nothing down here because I'm at the I'm at the home the home level the top level So we've got display network language uh, Which spoiler right now just English, but we will be getting um, other languages rolled out here shortly location and time uh, input security and then about so uh, Let me just jump into display. So again, what you'll notice is once I'm in display you'll see the color here changes and then back here, it says back to settings and it's black. As I go deeper in, these things change so that when you get familiar with it, you'll know where you stand within that uh, system. So up here at the top, main conference room, this is configurable, I can name it whatever I want. Okay, if I go back, here's your wallpaper with the pre-loaded uh, wallpapers that, that we have rights, I guess, to put on here, these are licensed. And then uh, the user image, which is uploaded through a USB drive, and it states in here, use this resolution um, and this format, and then it'll upload. If uh, an image is uploaded and a customer wants to delete it, again, push and hold, little box will come up and they can delete that. You can also switch the Avacore logo on and off. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, logo is on and off. And then I can turn this into a slideshow where it'll highlight everything, but I can go in and say, uh, only do a slideshow with these selected, okay? Um, under energy saving, auto power on and off. If you have that selected, then it'll have power on time and power off time. Um, and those you can go in and set, and they're just little wheels that, that then you can adjust. Um, whether eco mode is on or off, and when you turn that off, it's basically going to boost the brightness up um, and puts it into a, a higher power usage mode. Um, the OPS always on is the feature that we put in place on other products, and so this is so that when you turn off the display, the OPS stays on. So it's if you have a zoom room, um, it's not giving those notifications that everything went offline. And then the last is uh, the display sleep. You can have it um, set anywhere along this slider as far as how long you want the display to stay on before it goes to sleep after um, not having a, a signal to it, okay? Um, we have picture settings, so we have backlight. Um, right now, advanced settings is grayed out because under energy savings, under eco mode. So now I'll go back to picture. And then, oh, I know why. I can't get into advanced settings because on the main screen, there is no adjustment uh, available in that. If I have a, uh, a, a laptop or an OPS connected to it, then I'll get these, uh, I would get these settings. Um, and then the last is your audio settings, okay? 
Um, you'll notice back here, I'll tap, I'll go back to settings. Um, let's just look at network. So right now it shows that I'm connected and then I'm connected via a cable. So I've got a, a wired ethernet. Um, you can go in and have your LAN set either static or dynamic, and then we'll tell you what uh, the different addresses that it's picking up are. Um, if we had Wi-Fi, um, we could turn the Wi-Fi on. The Wi-Fi will be an, uh, an optional adapter. It's a USB dongle um, that customers can buy and, and uh, if they don't have wired Ethernet. And then Wake on LAN is, is the ability to uh, send a command through uh, the LAN interface and wake the display. Okay, um, as I mentioned, language right now is English, um, so you'll see that we have a, um, you can search, but you won't find anything. Um, as soon as we get other languages, those will populate those. Um, location and time. So right now we can set a time zone. So let's say I'm in Portland, so I start typing in, and there's Portland. Um, so it updates to Portland, and then it also is updating my weather automatically to Portland. If you decide you want to put in weather for a different location, go nuts, you can do that. Um, here's your 24 hour time, uh, toggle the date formats and uh, units of whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. Okay. Uh, input. Um, so there's a couple of things with this that, that are they're interesting and, we, and uh, I think you'll like them. So favorite source, so the favorite source is what is going to be um, what you would use on the remote or uh, if you push the home button on, on the front buttons. That is your favorite source and it will be defaulted to home screen, which by the way, you can't rename home screen, but everything else you'll be able to rename. Um, and then there's starting source. So we have the ability for this when it boots up to, to automatically go to a particular location. So if you wanted it to automatically start with an OPS, let's say it was a Zoom room or you had a backpack PC or whatever, you can do that. Um, detect new input, you can toggle this on and off. Think of this as a bit of that smart switching, maybe not quite as smart, but um, it will detect if you come in, somebody plugs something and it'll automatically switch over to that. You can rename the sources and then um, we have wake on input, um, which again, if the display is off and you plug the laptop in, it would come up. And then we can adjust and kind of force, oh, I don't have a laptop uh, connected to this, but trust me on the EDID that we can force this into, let's say 1080p versus 4K uh, 60, or you could force it into 4K 30 if you wanted to. Okay. Um, security, uh, cool feature here. So this is um, a passcode. And so you can set a four digit, or the customer can set a four digit code for this, and uh, then it, it locks everybody out from going and messing with it. So that would be the first thing that would pop up if I did set uh, a pass key. And yes, there is a backdoor for this. There is a four digit code that, it, that unlocks anything. So if a customer calls or customer service says, hey, forgot my passcode, we can give them the generic code and uh, they can get in that way. Um, Last thing is the about. So under this, it will just have things like, you know, and this is mainly for customer service. If people say, well, I don't know what display I have. I don't know what you call it. It says, here's what we call it. Here's the firmware version, right? It'll have the serial number, the model number. Um, and then you hear this update system. So again, when we come out with new firmware, if, if we push that firmware out onto the server, this will automatically look for that. It, it constantly is going out and looking and saying, hey, is there a newer version? If there is, it'll show up here and then you can uh, decide, do you want to update now or do you want to schedule that? And then factory reset. Okay. Um, I think that's really about it for, for right now. Um, let me show you, I guess there is one more thing. So um, it may be a little hard to tell, but we do have a preview available in these tiles. So if there is a connected laptop with an active signal, one, this little, um, this little dot will turn green. And then when you tap on it, you'll get a, a, a live image of what that looks like. And then you can decide, oh, is that the source that I want to connect to? Or uh, is that not the right one? And it, it just gives you a little of that confidence of if I'm going to switch to a source, I want to make sure it's the right one. So if I decide I want to switch over to the, the OPS computer, oh, yep, that's what I want. Boom. Then I hit it. So, okay. Um, 
That's it for the UIQ, and this will be um, similar as we roll out on, on some of the other products, and I'll get into that uh, training as, as um, we make those products available. Thanks.